Hey guys, it's Symphony here. I know I haven't been on here for a while, but I'm back now with a new video. Even though this is a older painting I did in what the earlier part of 2020, I think like right before the summer. I did this painting. It's still not done. I need to finish it. But anyways, I want to talk about black education in this video. At first, I was going to make a resource list, but I realized that list could go on and on. But I just want to talk about it briefly on how it's our responsibility to educate ourselves and not expect someone else who's not interested in our history and in our development as a human being to educate us. So, and I love how in recent times, we're actually more fond of learning about African history and uh, the African diaspora and so on and I noticed that I didn't really have much to put towards my work without it because this is a part of my culture that I never really learned until I had to find my own interest in it for myself but I think it's really important part of us because it's part of our identity you know so there's a few books that I want to recommend first before I continue. Um, books like The Destruction of Black Civilization from Chancellor Williams is a really good one to start off from. I'm on that one right now and I've learned so much just from listening to the audiobook because, you know, I'm in school so it's harder for me to read all these books in my leisure time. Another really good book that I have not started yet, but I know it's good because I listen to lectures from the author, is the book Yurugu by Dr. Maramba Ani. And she also wrote a book called Let the Circle Be Broken, Be Unbroken, sorry. And the list goes on. There's a lot of different, it depends on what you want to learn because there's a lot of books and TED Talks and lectures on almost everything that you want to learn on. Like there's a book called the Afro well, called Afrocentric Afrocentricity, The Theory of Social Change by Malefe Kitty Asante. And then there's the book called Blueprint for Black Power, which is more um how to say it? It's more straightforward and there's a lot of modern books as well, but I haven't checked those out. Right now, I feel like what I've been trying to focus on is the history that I wasn't allowed to learn when I was younger in school, and then to build from there to what is present day and what will the future become of us, and what I could use that information from. Another really good um, professor professor I guess you could say to listen to is Ivan Van. His lectures are really nice and anything from um, Amos N. Wilson is really good too like the book The Development, the Developmental Psychology of the Black Child and he has another book for, called The Falsification of African Consciousness, Eurocentric History, Psychiatry, and the, Politico the Polit Politics of white supremacy i'm sorry <laughs> for all the another one of my favorite lecturers is adelaide sanford and i like how she speaks about the educational system directly because she was a part of it when she was working in her previous career and one of my favorite ted talks is the one called emancipation from mental slavery and with that being said this video is basically done so i hope you enjoyed it and look forward to the next one i'll be dropping soon it'll be about my current series that i'm working about but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye